Hola, clase de español. Hope all is well. Just making sure that we have our screencast all set for section 10.2. Um, we're winding down here, guys. Um, this is actually our second to last screencast for this course. Uh, we will go through uh, all of the rest of chapter 10. Um, there will not be any chapter 11 screencasts this time. And so um, if you need any additional information, I can always send you a Quizlet link or some other um, some other items that can help you study on your own as well. So um, thank you for everyone who has been subscribing and watching and the few of you who are doing the extra credit assignments along the way. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our Spanish 1 vocabulary for 10.2. We'll go ahead and begin now. Abrir los regalos is to open gifts. Claro que sí is of course. Como no means why not. That's like a positive way, like agreeing, like let's do it, okay? Um, la próxima. Uh, con mucho gusto means with pleasure. Inflar los globos is to blow up balloons. Literal translation to inflate the globes or to blow up balloons. Llamar a los invitados to invite guests, to invite the guests. Lo siento, pero en este momento, I'm sorry, but right now, dot, dot, dot. That will be, um, obviously, another one of those sentence fragments where you would have to complete the sentence afterwards. We'll give you examples in class. Mandar las invitaciones is to send the invitations. Me ayudas a? Can you help me to? Me haces el favor de? Will you do me the favor of? Me pasas? Will you pass me or can you pass me? Me traes? Can you bring me? So a lot of these are requests, right? Perdóname means excuse me or pardon. Recibir regalos is to get gifts or to receive gifts. And un momentito is just a moment. Last few. De acuerdo means agreed or I agree. Está bien means okay. These last four are all commands. They're telling people to do something. They're actually forms of verbs. Like this is the form of the verb hacer. This is a form of the verb poner, a form of the verb venir, form of the verb um, uh, ir as well. And so as means do, as in as tu tarea, do your homework. Pon means put, place, or set, as in pon la mesa, set the table. Ven means come, as in come over here. Vete means go, as in go away. So vete, go away. Vete afuera, go outside. So those are just a few examples of those. We're going to do a little bit more with commands as our main grammar point for this week. Oh, let me bring that up here for you. It is right here, and we will set it up. Fancy. Okay, so informal commands. There are two slides that come with this. First one, there we go. There's the first one. So in, for informal commands, these are used when you would address someone informally, like a friend or someone that you know very well. To state an informal command in Spanish, take the second person's, I'll clean this up. Take the second person singular form of the verb and drop the S. What they mean to say is whatever the tu form is and take the S off of it. For example, the verb cantar is to sing. So the tu form of cantar is cantas, which means you sing. Take off the S. Canta is the command. Sing. Telling someone to sing. A few examples of that. Habla, habla, canta, pinta, come, and escribe. These are all the two forms minus the S. So this means talk, sing, paint, eat, write. Those are all examples of, of some informal commands that are regular. Now there are a few irregulars as well. Um, we had these, we had four of these five in the, in the vocabulary er, earlier. And here are their examples. As, do or make. Ve is go. Vete, go away. Pon means put or place something somewhere. And then ven means come. So, uh, oh, and this one incidentally is interesting because the title of our textbook is Ven Conmigo, Come With Me, right? So there's a sentence all by itself. Um, Extra credit this week. 
Uh, we're going to actually offer our extra credit during class. It will be in the form of a participation. Uh, so we'll give you a little bit more information when we get closer to that. Um, feel free to use this to write down anything on your on your vocab sheet. That should be sent out in an email as well. And if you have any questions or anything, obviously make sure to let me know or bring them or by sending them via email or bring them with you to class. We'll help you out there too. Okay. Ciao, hasta luego y adiós.